Hello guys, welcome back. I'm Julie and I'm here to do my reaction video for season 3 episode 1, the season 3 premiere for a stupid wife. The final season, if I'm not wrong, of a stupid wife. Why? I have no idea why, but this is going to be the last season of the show. If I'm not wrong, if I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, I think I'm not because there is, well, the title of the episode is Defesa, which I'm going to guess is defense or like, I don't know. They're, they're going to defend themselves from the threat that is the evil witch. Uh, anyways, so... Um, this actual first episode premiered like a month ago. I haven't had the time to actually sit down and really focus on it. And then I was like, do I want to wait between <laughs> episodes uh, for the last season or should I just binge? And since this is a Christmas break, I said, you know what? There are four episodes already out. Let's binge the four episodes. And I think that that's the way I'm going to do it. Or maybe the last episode will leave me so excited that I, I'm just gonna try to wait for the fifth and then jump in and then do the weekly thing. Who knows? Because, like, we don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. So, uh, yeah. I don't know who decided <laughs> this was going to be the last season. But it is because I think that I haven't read them, by the way. I haven't read uh, the, the, the letters, both Priscilla's, have written for each of their characters like kind of like saying goodbye or something like that like i'm not ready for that okay i'm not ready to say goodbye to either of them so i haven't read them i i probably will read them by the end of the series um not a minute sooner because i do not want to say goodbye to them so yeah that's not gonna happen so right now we're gonna go uh, and, and watch, uh, the first episode of season three, um, with how things left off with that little sneak peek kind of that we got at the end of the college special, we are all, I mean, I was like, oh my God, because like Valentina was like swearing and like just so heated and like, oh, but like, I will be too. So, yeah, we'll see what they have in store for us for this season. And honestly, <laughs> why does it have to end? All good things must come to an end. I I agree with that. But, like, not when you're in the high of it, you know? And to me, if, like, you want to have a little bit more support or something like that, uh, you can for sure you know, release the episodes ahead, but give the subscribers that do not speak Portuguese the chance of getting the episodes with subtitles. <laughs> because I haven't been able to support it that way because I, 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 don't, I, don't, I understand something in Portuguese, but I'm not fluent, you know, and I want to know, I don't want to miss any detail on my first watch, so there is that. Anyways, but... I'm here and I'm ready to watch season three, season three, episode one. So we're going to do that. I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys continue to support, support him for more. Because today, if you're on Patreon, I'm going to watch. Uh, I, I'm going to try to watch all the episodes. I don't know if I'm going to be able to, but it's. Uh, I'm going to try to binge them and just watch all of them. Or maybe it's just going to be this one. I, who knows? Just, you know, I'm just trying to go with the flow of things. So let's see how this episode goes. Hope you guys enjoy. Hope you guys like it. Hope you guys continue to support for more. Give it a thumbs up if you love a stupid wife. Subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. Uncut reaction is always posted first on Patreon. That always happens. Pat Patreons do get the episodes earlier. You know, my reactions for the episodes earlier. So go and check it out. Probably by the time I'm editing this, I, I have already finished the four episodes. So go and check them out. Link in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. And for now, that's about it. Without further ado, let's just begin with season three, episode one. The season three premiere for the final season of A Stupid Wife. Here we go. <laughs> okay. The fucking, the fucking! No, I'm not. I don't. I don't think so. 
It's more of a crying thing. <laughs> They're fucking already. Yeah, sobbing. Me too. Oh. Uh, you better don't know anything, bitch. Oh, shit. Let her be. Let her be. Honestly. Honestly, like, if someone is threatening to take your child, it doesn't matter who it is. I will throw hands. I will throw hands. Well, my mom will listen to me. Shut up. Luisa, it's okay. Look how she's holding on to him. Oh my god, it's okay. It's okay. Ego de merda. Yes, I agree, I agree. Honestly, I think the only way to turn this woman right is to either commend her into an institution or exorcise this bitch. I don't know how we're gonna fix this, honestly, with her. I don't, I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Honestly, this should have happened. If you have a heart attack right now, it's God's will. Oh my God, the apps, hello? I can count them, my God. Okay, Luisa, you have no right to look this hot in this moment of grief. Like, oh, okay, but I guess you can't help it, you know? Oh, okay, sorry. Oh my god, babies. You have no right to look this hot while we are, like, trying to process this, Luisa, because you're distracting me. You and your apps. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I <laughs> we love him. We love him. His grandma was back with the bullshit. <laughs> he didn't say that, but you know. Hey. You gonna pull out your hair? What the hell are you doing? How many of those pins you have? I know. Yeah, I know. But she has nothing to do with this. It's not even her mom. You say, Valentina, miss. I love that. I love that, like, in these uncertain times, they have each other. <laughs> I'm gonna miss them so much when they're gone. I, I'm gonna miss them. I don't know how you haven't divorced this bitch. Hoje eu tenho a minha tarde de folga. Hoje eu tô li. Ela me chamava de inútil. Da? Eu acho que eu acabei levando isso pra minha vida. Pra mãe que fica reforçando a minha incapacidade. She's a bitch. Ela faz questão. A todo custo, a todo momento, ela... Ela vai lá e ela bate nessa tecla. Cut her Meu out filho. of your life. That's it. Meu That's the best thing. Meu objetivo só era provar pra mim mesma que eu... Tá bem? Ok, yes. Até semana que vem. That's so cute. Aww. Oi. 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 Como foi a terapia? Foi ótimo. Fazendo muito bem. That's so good that you listened to her Pode wife. Repetir? <laughs> Peraí, porque eu preciso. Eu preciso gravar isso daqui. Para de graça. Vamos. That's great. That's amazing. Vai, tem que abrir mais o bocão. Posso saber que bagunça é essa daqui, Valentina Leonardo? Você é ruim de mira. É, filho. Ela é ruim de mim, já coloquei todas as roupas sujas pra lavar. Ah, okay. Aí você aproveita e bota esse uniforme do Léo também. Oh! Sim, senhora. Uh -huh. Stop it! Perdoado. I think so. I, I will forgive you. Oh my God. Mas mais tarde, eu vejo uma forma de você... I know, I know a way, I know a way! É um convite? Oh, bitch! Oh, bitch! Okay. Oh! 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 Okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna, I can't take... Uh. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. Okay, I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. I'm gonna calm down. Guys, I can't be hyperventilating. 
at any moment that they spend together because they're wives. They're gonna spend a lot of their time together. <gasps> okay. <gasps> okay. Sorry. Linda, essa. Se a gente não tivesse passando por essa situação toda, eu ia gostar de voltar lá. Yeah, that's. Let's build one here. It's about the new Valentina and all of that. New Valentina can go to IKEA. She a lesbian, right? So go off and like build another one. <laughs> We can bring new memories into it. We don't need to remi remind us of the evil witch. You know? I'm just saying. Yes, everything. My God. Tudo. Stop! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I'm gonna go crazy! <laughs> my dear fucking god! I am like the, the fact that they the, you know why the, you know why it is so fucking like I know it's fucking but like you know why it's so special and why they it's just that they have known each other for a long time and they still have that passion for one another you know what I mean and that's just beautiful to see you know I swear to God, these two bitches are gonna be like wrinkle and like, you know, and they're still gonna fuck with the same intensity. And I am up for that. You know, I will have wanted to watch that process, by the way, of them getting older. Ooh! He's so fucking. Boa. Oh, bitch! Bitch! This is the most anticlimactic thing to happen after you have an orgasm up there. Oh my god. Eu não sabia que vocês estão. Oh, fuck you. I think it's time for us to build a new treehouse. Okay, guys, so that was the end of season three, episode one of Stupid Wife. And, you know, we are back into. We, were, we went back to the precise moment where. It all happened, right? Where they were handed the papers uh, that their mom, I mean, we already knew it was the mom, um, and Valentina going to confront her, right? Everything that she said was on point. I have, I have said this because we have watched that little sneak peek uh, at the end of the college special. So... Everything that Valentina said during her time in therapy. Also, I'm so glad that it's not only Luisa, the one that, you know, has therapy and has gone through therapy and everything for the things that happened to her, but also now has encouraged Valentina to go and do that. And I love how, you know, Valentina knows what the problem is. Her mother, you know. Because she has felt guilty about her choices and the fact that she couldn't conceive a baby. And her mom had called her useless for years. And she knows the root of her problem, you know. And she is very self-aware. I don't know how many sessions has she had to be able to open up. But it's very clear to everyone that the root of her insecurities when it comes to her being a good mom or not comes because of who her mom is, you know? And it's something that, to me, it's so... It's so disgusting, you know? Because I will understand... Not, not understand it, but I will expect it from a man. I wouldn't expect that from another woman. Especially, and it has to hurt even more, 
that it comes from your mom, you know, and you want to say, you know, mothers and daughters have very different, different, um, relationships. And we do, we do have very different relationships than moms and sons have, or fathers and daughters have. There are very different dynamics, but at the end of the day, at the core, it has to be about the love you have for your children. And something also that I have, you know, that I heard Valentina said that is very, very uh, uh, important is that when you finally accept that this other person that is your parent, uh, what what are those what are the mistakes that really marked you as a child and the things that you wouldn't do, right? Uh, because your parents did. You have to be able to recognize and see the mistake in them in order for you to not continue doing. And that is something that is so, so important to break generational trauma, you know? Um, and it's so important and it's so clear and, 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 and it's something that we as children have to allow ourselves to to see that our parents were not perfect. They are, at the end of the day, humans as well. And for better or for worse, if they have also grown up and understand that they might have done some things bad and they have apologized for it and they have stopped doing that, then it is okay for you to understand, process your trauma, and then understand that you don't have to repeat it with your child, you know? And that is something that that's the most important thing, you know, um, that can come out, out of difficult and very awful situations that you might have gone through as a child or growing up, you know, uh, things that really mark you, you know, put uh, left mark on you. Um, and for Valentina, it is this, you know, way of feeling like she has to prove herself to her mom, you know, she has recognized all the bad things and the things she doesn't want to be for her son, you know, and that is so important and it's so difficult because sometimes we blame our, our parents for things, but we're not as specific, specifically, we're not as specific about it, right? And so we, without even noticing start to repeat those same behaviors with our children, you know, um, unconsciously, honestly, sometimes, you know, uh, but I think that is very, very important to be able to recognize them and stop them just so it doesn't create more trauma, you know, and I love the Valentina is so aware of it and it, it pains her that she has a mother that is like that, that has, you know, given her so many insecurities uh, and has made her life so difficult for no reason, you know, uh, that and that she's not willing to continue down that path. Now, that's why during the reaction, I was like, honestly, there has to be a fundamental change in her mom, you know, uh, for her, for us to be able to say, okay, we're gonna give her another chance. Why? Because we have given her multiple chances and she continues to do it. And I think that the show and the writers and the story, it's leading to a point where Valentina has to decide, I do not want this, this energy around my son. You know, I, I do, I just don't want it. You know, and for it for it to be a for for it to be more um, normalized to cut ties, even with your parents, even with your I don't know siblings, whoever it is that are a cost of like they are making you, you know, they're making your life difficult. It is okay to cut ties with them. It is actually healthy, you know, because there is this, you know, 
mentality that we have that family is family and they are supposed to be there all the time and that we're supposed to forgive them for everything every single fucking time and it's not right because like don't you want to have peace and live a good life right and in order to do that if you have to remove the unhealthy people from it then you have to do it And if that includes your mom or your sibling or an aunt or an uncle or whatever, then you have to do it. You know, cutting those toxic people out of your life, even if they're family, sometimes is extremely helpful and extremely needed. You know, so there is that. Whether if they're going to do that or not, I don't know. Because at this point, I don't believe in anything that she says. I don't know why the husband has not filed for divorce at this point. Because, like, I feel like this is a character that is just... That's just who she is. She has shown her colors time and time and time again. So, I'm sorry, you know? That's it. She crossed a line that she shouldn't have crossed. And she has crossed multiple lines that she shouldn't have. And she continues to do it, you know? That's not a good person to be in your life, you know? And especially because Valentine is someone that, despite all of the things that happens to her with her mom, she gives only love to the people that are around her. Her wife, her son, her friends, everything. Like, she that, that's not, like, her mom is not what she reflects onto other, you know? others you know that she's just full of love and compassion and empathy and you know and it's beautiful to see her in under that light you know uh but if she has to cut ties with that bitch let it be let it be honestly because how how many times when is it enough for us to say you know what i don't want you in my life i'm sorry i don't When when is it enough? Is enough. You know what I mean? So, yeah. Points for giving, you know, for, for making Valentina go to therapy. Points for her to be adorable with Leo playing and, like, getting him all messy. <laughs> love that. I love her connection. Like, her connection with Leo is, is so different from Lisa's connection with Leo. And, like, at the end of the day, this boy is so loved. And that's the most important thing. Um, and uh, I also love how romantic she is. And how, honestly, how how brave she is. Because she was like, okay, my wife wants to go to the treehouse. We might run into my mother. We're still gonna do it. And, like, she went there and she fucked her wife there. Like, bless her, but, like, I, I will have been, like, honey, we need a place for us and for our family where we can feel safe. I know that we feel safe when we're in this little thing, but, like, we come down the stairs and the bitch is there. So, like, it's not working anymore. Let's just build something for us. She a lesbian, okay? So she might know her way around tools. I know that I'm, it's a stereotype. I know. I'm making a joke, okay? But... I I vote for them to build their own tree house. Maybe a separate one because like if they're gonna be fucking in there and like the children are also gonna be there, like that might cause a little bit of trouble. You know? Maybe they can take turns or something. I don't know. But I think it's better than having to encounter the mother every time. You know what I mean? So anyways, love of the episode. I am actually going to watch episode two right after I finish this one. The title of the next episode is Impotence. Impo I don't know why when they have like the little like sombrero on top of the of the letters. I don't know how is it that you're supposed to pronounce it. Impotencia, which is like you feel it's not. How do you translate it in English? I don't know, but that's the title. And I'm ready. I am ready to watch uh, season three. I, I mean, the second episode of season three. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support. You guys are amazing. I hope you guys enjoy. Thumbs up, subscribe, comment, hit the notification bell. On car reactions, always post your first on Patreon in case you guys want to check that out. Link, as always, will be in the description down below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for all your support.
And that's it. I'll see you guys next time for more reaction videos for episode two, actually, of A Stupid Wife. That's it. Mwah. Bye, guys.